Tomorrow will mark the first time that Spain's future queen, who is the daughter of King Felipe and Queen Leticia, will march in the nation's traditional military parade. The renowned Pascua Militar Ceremony at the Royal Palace in Madrid on Saturday coincides with Epiphany, also known as the Day of the Kings, a national holiday in Spain. Princess Leonor, who turned 18 in October, will be attending the ceremony with her parents. After a two-week Christmas holiday, the sovereign returns to public responsibilities this weekend. The 18th century parade is the first time the adolescent heir has participated, and her presence here indicates that the young princess is accepting of her public duty. In order to be prepared for her future in the monarchy, the future Queen of Spain, who turned 18 on October 31st, has been making solo appearances and training at the General Military Academy in Zaragoza. As they get older, the monarch and her 16-year-old sister, Infanta Sofia, have been occupying more space in the public eye. Leonor, for example, frequently steals the show during family vacations and makes annual remarks at the, prin the, princess, the Princess of Asturias Awards. In contrast to Prince Christian of Denmark, who happens to be a future European monarch and is only two weeks her senior, Leonor's 18th birthday festivities were rather subdued. The Royal Mint of Spain produced a limited edition 40 euro coin to commemorate the heir apparent to the Spanish monarchy, who swore an oath to the nation's constitution in front of the Congress and Senate. The Bank of Spain released up to one million of the coins into circulation. The coin has the image of Her Royal Highness the Princess of Asturias imprinted on it and weighs 18 grams. It is composed of a blend of copper and silver. The teenager recently completed military training at Zaragoza's General Military Academy. Although the school has a rigorous schedule and is known as Spain's Sandhurst, the princess is permitted to come home on weekends, provided she is not on maneuvers. She went to Gironda with her sister Sofia for her first engagement without her parents before beginning at the academy. Additionally, she presented herself in a polished manner at the Princess of Asturias Awards. The UNESCO-approved prizes honor achievements in science, technology, culture, society, and humanitarianism. Since she was 13, she has spoken at each one. Following her year in Zaragoza, the princess will attend a naval school before completing her third and last year of instruction at the General Air Academy. Once she is crowned queen, the heir apparent to the Spanish monarchy will assume command of the armed forces, despite claiming to be a little nervous when she was sent off to military school, Leonor appears to be comfortable in this role, based on photos released by the royal household last month. One of the photos, which was taken during a training exercise, features the princess grinning with the other cadets, while carrying what looks to be an automatic rifle and wearing fatigues. In a further picture, she is seen standing with other classmates while wearing protective gear and camouflage clothing. At the Princesa de Girona Foundation Award event on July 5th in Girona, Catalonia, the princess expressed her excitement about joining the cadet corps. I have just completed high school and I am going to begin a new stage with a period of military training, she stated. It's a significant time in my life and I'm delighted to know how much the Spanish regard our military forces. I'm also motivated to keep studying and give it my all. In the meantime, Princess Leonor's father will give her the symbolic collar of the Order of Charles III on her birthday in honor of turning 18. The collar is a historically significant gift that was made by Carlos III in 1771 and symbolizes the prospect of Princess Leonor becoming queen in the future. January 1986, King Felipe VI's 18th birthday, he was presented with the collar of the Order of Charles III. Senators, Political officials and members of the royal family will all be present at the event where Princess Leonor will receive it. The Princess of Asturias will receive this honor from her father, King Philippe VI. For the second time, he gave her the Order of the Golden Fleece in 2015, the day before her 10th birthday. The Duke of Burgundy founded the Order of the Golden Fleece, a Catholic order of chivalry, in 1430, the 18th birthday celebration of Princess Leonor will bring an end to a hectic month for the heir apparent to the Spanish throne. Princess Leonor attended the UWC Atlantic College in the Welsh county of Vale of Glamorgan 
Prior to enrolling in the military academy, the school's progressive pedagogy and gorgeous castle setting have earned it the nickname Hippie Hogwarts. This autumn, 16-year-old Infanta Sofia of Spain, Leonor's sister, enrolled in UWC Atlantic. The Spanish monarchy declared in September of last year that after Princess Leonor's three years of military training are up, she will attend law school. Even though Leonor hasn't chosen a university, her academic history already resembles that of her father, King Felipe. Following his graduation from Lakefield College in Canada, Felipe studied in the General Military Academy of Zaragoza before returning to Spain to attend the Naval Military School in Marine. He spent time at the General Air Academy in San Javier to cap up his training. In 1987, at the age of 18, he also finished his military training with a job at Juan Sebastián Elcano store. He then continued his legal studies at the Autonomous University of Madrid,